now we've uh, gotten her outside. Gives you a better opportunity to uh, take a look at the paint. Let me turn this off. So now that we're outside, yeah, it should give you all uh, a better opportunity to look at the paint. We'll go over every detail of the car. We've got the front section here. Obviously, as you can see, uh, the paint looks good. So now we're on the paint section. Um, obviously, there's been some comments about respray, which we think is true. Uh, we are not entirely sure whether that is on the entire section of the car, uh, the entire car, or just certain sections. But uh, as you can see on you know, a pretty close examination on good daylight, this panel looks solid. The hood has some slight fading, but also is solid. Um, then we come around to the front, got a little bit of, it almost looks like clear coat um, that's starting to crack on the headlight, but uh, you know, there's not a lot of gap here. They're fitted well, um, and there's no overspray on the headlights. The emblem's in good shape. All of the black grill trim is good. Front bumper looks like a likely candidate of respray, even though the match job was uh, really, really well done to, you know, if, if you weren't specifically looking for signs of a repaint, you probably wouldn't notice it um, because the color match is so good. Coming around to the passenger side, we've got the same thing over here. Great paint is in great shape. We've got a little bit of uh, you know fading or potentially some some chemical that was spilled there, um, but otherwise the hood's in good shape. A little bit of scratching that we haven't been able to nail down on the windshield here. Uh, looks like it's being caused by the wipers, but we've cleaned them, so uh, can't quite figure that out. And then if we come around over here, we'll start to see more signs of the respray. So like coming. Here you see on the trim, there's this red paint. That's obviously our, our major indicator of the respray. But again, um, it's, you can't see it unless you're specifically peeling it up. And again, everything is color matched perfectly. It looks factory um, and you know we're in, in solid daylight right now, not seeing any issues. We've got a little bit of minor scratching here. Um, but you know, again, hairline scratches, nothing that you wouldn't see if you weren't looking for it. And obviously now we're going over the imperfections. Sunroof functions as it should. I'll show a video of that, but then also you get a little bit more faded paint on the roof as well. But again, same color tone, um, all looks uniform, uh, as well as the glass. Another thing that I would say, I, I was expecting more people to, uh, have an issue with versus the paint because you know the paint looks so great um is we've got this door trim peeling here it's like you know this uh i want to say you know polished steel or aluminum um piece there with the uh, black plastic trim over it we've got a little bit as someone mentioned in the comments of overspray in the keyhole here um which you know would probably indicate that this door has been repainted and you can see a little more signs of that in the uh, door handle here. But then if you pull out just a bit, you know, paint is obviously very lustrous, reflective, uh, high gloss and, and in good shape. Um, you know, a little bit of orange peeling here or there, but nothing substantial. Um, and then again, yep, coming around to the back in good shape. We've got a little scratch here, which is actually coming out with, uh, not quite with my finger, but I'm sure that is not an issue. Our, our dual overhead cam VTEX sticker here. Um, and if we look here, if we're just going by the keyhole method, this keyhole has zero overspray in it, um, which, you know, based on the conclusions that people are drawing in the comments would indicate that there's not been a repaint on the trunk. Um, but again, up for debate and now, that we've got a nice ray of sunshine. Just take a look at, you know, the, the condition of this paint, you know, even if resprayed, it's in great shape, very reflective, very rich. Um, and yeah, in, uh, in very solid shape. So now we come around to the driver's side door where more of this um, peeling trim, it, it, it's more apparent. Um, you've got a lot more metal exposed. 
that is probably the worst cosmetic defect of this vehicle by far um this peeling trim here otherwise yeah with you know a solid detail or even just some polish um this thing you know any any paint imperfection that, that you see would probably be uh quickly eliminated the other thing is we've got a little bit of uh i don't know i don't even necessarily know what to call this but um oxidization or uh a loss of you know the uh if these were painted silver wheels not just uh raw material here then we've got some uh some corrosion and oxidation there and also um, pretty much on on every wheel some are worse than others that's definitely the worst one but yeah just a little bit more uh oxidization there we'll go around to the other side just to demonstrate that um, and then we've got a little bit curbing here um not too substantial but you know you might want to get these wheels refinished uh, a new buyer i usually pay about 175 dollars per corner um to do that and then yeah this wheel is probably in the best shape you've got a little bit of corrosion there where there was uh it looks to be a wheel weight but yeah so now let's head on over to the interior um which is i would say the highlight of this car in impeccable shape as you can see um just get a good look there really uh looks brand new the steering wheel has a little bit of peeling on it but uh we'll go over that in detail when we head over to the driver's side um but yeah seats are in great shape they've got you know a little tiny tiny signs of wear but otherwise and then um we've got a little bit of peeling on this uh door pull here this door handle but otherwise the interior of this car is in such great shape it is really nice to see and uh yeah if we want to go over some more overspray bits um you know we should look so like here in the door jams uh no overspray on the weather stripping down here doors are all you know properly painted um so yeah it's, it's definitely a, a, a mystery to us so then we head around to the driver's side check out the interior and it is in equally good shape. Now we've got a little bit of deformation here on this seat, uh, left, left thigh bolster, but uh, otherwise in great shape. And then also, sorry, um, the steering wheel peeling, which I mentioned a, a few seconds ago, uh, better shot of it here. You can see that, but otherwise buttons are in good shape. Let me do the, uh, the sunroof for you guys while I'm at it. And then also, now that I'm in here, um, we're not seeing the same uh, delamination issue. Just tried to put a BMW key in the uh, prelude. One second, do the sunroof. So we're in, battery on. Okay, roof open. There we go. And then you can see up top that the roof is open. And now we'll close it again. There you go. Fast and easy. Um, trying to think what else. Yeah, so, you know, um, got the radio. You'll need a code to get into the radio. I haven't, uh, we're, we're locked out of the radio right now, actually. But, uh, but yeah, otherwise, um, let's think what else. Let's check out the trend, the end. So now coming around to the engine bay. Also, before we get there, um, tires will likely need to be replaced. I mean, they're they're okay, but we do have, uh, there, there is a little bit of dry rotting. Um, you can see in between the tread there, nothing really that would prevent you from driving it uh, a little bit, but uh, we, we haven't put in, we haven't put substantial mild mileage on this anyway, under our ownership. So now we get to the engine bay and you know clean 60,000 mile car um no rust no corrosion really even um the shock tower mounts look good um and then you kind of compare the paint in here to the paint exteriorly it actually looks a lot better uh on the exterior i think there was a paint code maybe it was a different ah sorry that you know that must have been another car but 
Um, there should be a paint coat somewhere in here. And then, yeah, obviously uh, the engine. Engine is in good shape. We've just uh, had some some major components remachined, uh, new timing belt, um, and that that service invoice is is pictured in the gallery. Um, but yeah, the thing is running uh, as it should now. It was smoking. Um, the, the reason we did that service was because it was uh, smoking not a ton but a decent amount and uh you know just figured it, it needed some love so yeah thanks um for watching everyone and thanks for participating in the auction if you have already um at the point of upload there will probably be about three days left um so please do um you know shoot out uh shoot us any questions comments concerns uh if you'd like to come see the car please uh do so through a private message we're happy to uh do a showing and uh yeah, best of luck to all the bidders that have bid already and all those that are planning on doing so. We uh, are offering this at no reserve. So um, all we can do is, is show you the car and the market will decide what she's worth. But uh, it's it's been fun to own. I, I've definitely gotten my, my enjoyment out of it. Um, but, you know, the, uh, the stable is full and it's time to uh, thin the fleet a little bit. So I appreciate uh, you guys being a part of that and uh, take care. Thanks very much. So we went through our footage and uh, realized that we forgot to do a cold start, so, um, there you Yeah, and just uh, a little, little water in there. Condensation. Nice. All right, do some revs. 